So what have you guys been up to since leaving the Big Brother house? I've been out for a while and so I've been back to work and yeah, just living a normal life again, which is good. Back to training and work and um, a few little things here and there, but what about you, Charlie? Uh, for me, I really haven't had a chance to get my life back to normal yet because I went straight into Dream World, did that for a week. Uh, they sent Tom back to Sydney, so I was doing it all by myself. <laughs> and then I had a day in Sydney, I was in Adelaide for my girlfriend's birthday, and then straight back here for finale week. So uh, yeah. it's just been the circus the whole time, basically. So for Dion, you've been out of the house for a while. When you got back home, watched the shows, was there anything that really surprised you? Surprised me. Um, when I first got out, there's a lot of things that you don't know what's going on in there because things happen in other rooms and you, you know less than what the public do. So yeah, so many things happen and you're just like, wow, that, yeah, that's massively surprising. Um, Sky is constantly going from one boy to the other and the whole, the whole showman's thing, Leo, which is definitely showman's, it was a bit surprising. Um, I didn't... I didn't think she'd play the game that hard and want to do that as well, but she would probably think she's popular enough without doing that, but um, she did that as well. But um, Yeah, not really any surprise me. Like, people doing what they do is, they're always going to do what they do, like Priya constantly gossiping. Like, <laughs> we all, you can all tell that sort of stuff in, from when you're in there, so, yeah. So Richard, obviously you came in as a neighbour or an intruder. Mm -hmm. So how do you think you would have fared had you actually come in on day one as a regular housemate? Um, it's, it's hard to say. I actually did get a call the week before it started to see if I could come mm -hmm. in at the last minute and the way the cards fell it didn't end up happening. Mm -hmm. I can't talk about who they sent in instead but no worries. Um, it, it's hard to know, you know, I think at the end of the day they put in um, 20 odd housemates and everyone that was there beat thousands of other people to get into the show so it's really hard to say if I'd been there would I have lasted more than a week. Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day I went in as a neighbour, I had my two weeks and I was just Grateful to have that opportunity. Yeah. Right. So for each of you, who do you guys want to win tonight, and who do you think deserves to win? Um, it's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, I think, I think I want. See, everyone's saying Ryan. I think I'm starting to swing more towards Travis, though. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I think Ryan's just kind of played it too cool, whereas Travis has been really raw and open, and mm -hmm. I feel like. I feel like he's my answer for both those questions now. I think mm -hmm. I want him to win and I think he deserves to win. Um, for some reason everyone's not with Sky anymore and just against Sky. I don't think I think I don't think she deserves to win either. I, I think she's been a bit too fake and, and sort of portraying herself a certain way to gain public attention, whereas Travis has just been himself, so mm -hmm. yeah. I think uh, for me, probably all three of them deserve to win. I see I say that because they've all been very insane in the house mm -hmm. and like with Sky, love her or hate her, she is very entertaining to watch. In terms of who I personally want to win, um, I would say definitely one of the lads, probably leading more towards Travi at this point as well. Nice. But I'd be stoked for Ryan if you yeah, took it as well. And lastly, what has the whole Big Brother experience taught you about yourself? And knowing what you know now about it all, would you do it again? Mm. Uh, what has it taught me? It hasn't really taught me anything massively different. It's taught me to just still be myself. I wouldn't change any, I wouldn't I wouldn't be someone else to gain any further attention or gain any further time in there. Um, and I'd definitely do it again. Knowing what it is now, I probably would I'd be more opinionated. I, I wouldn't hold back as much. I sort of wanted to be friends with everyone. I didn't I, and that, that's not necessarily not who I am, but it's just like I would definitely speak up more. Yeah. Um, knowing that that's not just because knowing that's what's put on on TV basically. So you would get more public air time if you yeah. do speak up more. If you just sit by the wayside, you're never going to be featured, sort of thing. Definitely. So that's the stuff you learn when you get out. Like, yeah. yeah. I think um, for me, probably the two things I've learned is one that some people actually enjoy watching me on television, which I never would have guessed was <laughs> um, a possibility. And also, I think I've grown up and I roll in circles where most of the people I associate with on the outside of the house um, have had very similar upbringings, quite privileged. And I think for me to spend time with some amazing people that perhaps, you know, that had sick people in their family or, you know, hadn't had the opportunities that I possibly had and taken for granted and squandered. Um, it just sort of reinforced how great I am for people to give me those opportunities. Um, in terms of what I'd do it again, I think I definitely would. Um, I've been saying to people, even if you don't think you're going to go in, you don't know what people are looking like, just at least go to the audition day, because the audition right. day in itself is so much fun. Mm. Um, I don't think I'd do anything differently because 
um, you know, I went there being myself and yeah. if I, I wouldn't go in and just do something out of character purely to try and get me further in the game. I probably would have nominated Sky for a point so I wouldn't miss nominations, <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, thank guys. No worries, thanks, so guys.